Hi, today we're going to be answering your frequently asked questions. Hang, Hang on, on for the loop. Three, two, one. Ah. You knocked me down. Give me a second. Oh, good job. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. A lot of people have questions about church. Did you ever have questions about church, Jamie? I did, I did. Yeah, I never knew, uh, you know, what should I wear? Can I wear a dress? Can I wear pants? I don't know. And I used to wonder why church was so long, because it started in the morning and often ended like late in the afternoon, and I didn't know why uh, that was the case. Well, today we are going to get some answers, but first, action, action figure, figure theater. Rah! Rawr. I'm gonna use you to drive my cars. Oh, uh, oh. excuse me, sir. Uh. Um, do you go to church? Church? Yeah, I go to church. Church, I like a church. It's so fun. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, sure, man. Fire away. Um, do you guys go to church? Sometimes. Yeah. S especially, especially at Christmas. Yeah. And Easter. What is church? Uh, it's like school in the dark. You sit down, lights go out, you listen to one guy, and then the lights turn on and you leave. Oh, what is church? Oh, man, church is everyone and everywhere. Church is here, church is there, church is me, church is you. What is church? What is well, I'm asking you, what is church? It's where we go. Like, we worship God there. We, you know, we sing. And oh, right, We listen right. to the sermon. And yes. With other llamas. So wait, um, what kind of church do you go to? A non-denominational. Yeah, that's, we're non-denominational. Church is just a building, I feel like, where people meet. People and, meet. Yeah, and talk. And drink coffee. Eat donuts and worship. Uh-huh. Church is, uh, and now, church is later. Church is steak, church is chicken. I, I think it's important for some people, but it's not not really, for, it's not my thing. It's, it's, not like not, a, it's not like a must, nah. Do I have questions about church? Yeah, do you have any questions specifically about church? Why do we go to church? Uh, one, why? Why church? Is that simple enough for you? I mean, why do I have to go to the building? Can I just like listen to church? on a podcast at home. Or I could do church at the basketball court. Or I could uh, do church at the beach. Sometimes it's a little weird to raise your hands at church. I don't know why people do that. What's the weirdest thing about church? Oh, probably me. It can be okay, in the good. sea. Okay, I think we're It good. can be on an island. It can be Thank on an you. isthmus. It can be time. on a peninsula. Church can be confusing. Do you think church is important, Jamie? I do, and I think we're gonna get some reasons why when we look at questions like this. Yes. Do I have to go to church? <laughs> do I have to go to church? No. What? Nobody has to go to church to be a Christian or a follower of Jesus. But, don't check out on me, God wants us to grow stronger in our faith. And one of the best ways that we grow stronger in our faith is to be around other people who are growing stronger in their faith. It makes sense. Because uh, isolation uh, does not work. Hello? Hello? If you think about like the very first church, like the early church, like when they first started meeting, like think about it, like they didn't have any videos, they didn't have any podcasts, there was no Bible app, there was no printing press, and most of them they could not read. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Nothing. And so if they wanted to learn and be changed by God's word, they had to come together in communities and they would read and they would talk out loud. They would grow together. And this was a tradition that has been set up for us from the beginning. There's the church. Here's the steeple. Open it up. <gasps> there are the people. And so 
the church is a backstage pass to what God is doing in your faith and other people around you. And it is not perfect and that's okay because the church is full of broken people who need grace. People who want to grow with you. That was good. Yeah, what's the next question? Whoa, ah, oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. I think I got one. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay. oh, here, 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 here. Okay. All right, the next question is, is online church really a church? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Austin Patterson, and you might remember me from this video where you met my wife. Hey wife, come say hello. Who, me? Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey everyone. My dog. <laughs> Oh, I love you too. Or you might remember that I beat Ninja. Oh, actually, that's it. Scar. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. But I'm not here to talk to you about gaming. See, I'm the church online video producer. See, says it right here. Church online video producer. You might be thinking, hang on, church online? How does that work? So when I say church, you probably picture this. And you're not wrong. That is a building that church is held in. But whenever I hear the word church, I picture this. You see, the difference is the people. You see, the Bible in Matthew 18, 20 says this. For where two or three are gathered as my followers, I am there among them. So that means church can look like this. See, we're worshiping together. You can see the comments on the side that people are talking with each other, praying for each other online. You see, today in our culture, there's lots of churches that do online services, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Instagram, or any other platform. Church has grown beyond a building. The Bible never said church was a building, but you and me and people are the building blocks of church. Jesus talks about the kingdom of God. He doesn't specify a time or place or a specific floor plan. So Church Online is a way that we build community and build our faith online. It doesn't mean that we should ignore physical communities, but when someone chooses to follow Jesus online, that doesn't mean any less when they choose to raise their hand at a physical location. Taking Church Online allows us to be the church for people all over the world. This is the church, here is the steeple. Open the door and see all the answers. It's time for the quiz thing. Guess how many trees there are on Earth? I'm serious, guess. Just yell out numbers. I wanna hear some num num numbers. Did any of you say A, three trillion, B, four billion, C, two billion, or D, 100 million? Guess what, one of those is correct. According to a report in 2015, there are an estimated A, 3.04 trillion trees on Earth. That's a ton of trees, man. Think about all those trees, and then think about all the branches that each one of those trees has. I mean, that's a lot of branches, man. When you think about it, it's like a bunch of branches, man. That's a lot to process. Okay, now let's talk about denominations. <laughs> Whoa, what? He was talking about trees and now he's talking about this word? You're like, dude, what's a denomination, dude? I don't even know, I was at a sleepover with my friend and now I'm at this church and they're talking about denominations? <laughs> What? Like you were probably at school and someone was like, I go to this type of church, right? Like maybe you heard somebody at school talking about, I'm a Baptist or I'm a Lutheran or I'm a Catholic. Let's do a quick quiz question. Which of these is not a known denomination? Is it A, Methodist, B, Presbyterian, C, Cafeterian, or D, Pentecostal? If you said D, yep, Pentecostal is definitely a denomination. If you said C, you're right, cafeterian, I made that one up. Uh, there's no such thing as the church of cafeteria. If there were, we'd all go back for seconds. <laughs> Am I right? What a horrible joke. Since we're tree talking, let's think of denominations like a tree. If Christianity was a tree, then a denomination would be a branch off of that tree. So let's think about the trunk that's rooted in Jesus. And everything on the trunk is all the things that we believe that are similar. Jesus was God. He came to earth. He died. 
He rose again three days later for our sins. Those things we can all agree on. And then think of the branches as where we have different practices, different interpretations, different traditions. For example, if I hang out on the Protestant branch, then I believe that I can confess my sins directly to God. If I hang out on the Catholic branch, then I confess my sins to a priest and he takes those sins to God for me. But don't miss this, this is huge. Those branches are still connected to the same tree, the Christianity tree, the Christianity tree. I just coined that phrase, that's mine. Copyright, trademark, quiz man. The Christianity tree is the Christianity tree and it's rooted in Jesus. So here's a frequently asked question. There's tons of denominations. Which one is right? Which one is correct? Which branch should I hang out on? Who's the realest of the real? Here's the answer. The best way to know if your branch is sturdy is to learn to recognize God's truth. It's up to you. So you can't just assume their branch is connected to the tree. Before you pick a branch, Check the roots, do some sleuthing, figure it out. Does your church have a growing relationship with Jesus? Does it follow his teaching and love others? If not, some alarm should be going off. Don't just assume that a branch is connected. Before you pick a branch, check the roots. Commit yourself to a church that has committed itself to God. That's the realest of the real. I'm the quiz man, goodbye. Your steeple looks awesome. Thank you, I am going to end up making some windows um, you know, right about there, so. That's a good idea. Oh, there. oh, okay, I can do that, yeah. cool. So our next question is simple. Does church even matter? Okay, so does church even matter? So we're gonna start with something really simple. Yes, the church matters, because the church matters to God. You know, in the Bible, God calls the church his bride. He loves the church, he protects the church, he stands up for the church. Even though we are the church, like, has he met us? We're a mess. It's like this, it's like, you love your mom, right? She's not perfect, she makes mistakes, but you love your mom. And if I were to walk into the room and start talking smack about your mom, it's not like you're gonna stand there and be like, mm, no, we're gonna have an altercation. You're gonna be angry at me and you're gonna let me know it because you care about your mom. And that is how God cares for the church. And it's not because we're perfect or our buildings look great or worship sounds awesome. God loves the church because it is made up of his people. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17, it says this. It says, do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If any man destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Yeah, you are that temple. And the person sitting next to you, and on the other side, the person whispering behind you, you are the temple. And I hope you're tracking with me here because it's, it's not like a building and events and a staff and doing great things aren't all great, but those are man-made things. And the church was designed by God. He stands up for the church. And you know what? He expects us to stand up for the church too. It's like if I were to come into the room and start talking about your mom and your best friend sitting right next to you, you wouldn't expect them to just sit there and take it. No, you would expect them to stand up for your mom too. And that's what God expects of us. So let's simplify this one more time. The church matters to God because you matter to God and the church is you. This is the church. This is the steeple. Open the doors. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Well, when it comes to our church, it's okay to ask questions. It's also okay if you don't have all the answers. Like, why do we have tiny hands today? What tiny hands? These are my real hands. Church matters. So how will you respond? Your challenge is to commit. And our challenge is to get a drink of water. Oh, oh. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Ah! Oh, it's failing. I'm failing. Mm. I'm failing. Delicious. All right, so we changed one little thing about this episode of The Loop Show that you guys will never be able to figure out. If you do figure it out, leave a comment. Right down here. Yeah. Man, we are so sneaky. I don't know if they're gonna I get know, it. I know, I know. I can't wait to see what they think it is. <sighs>